Hi everyone, it's Doreen, My Bedazzled Treasures, and I have another haul video for you today in a project. Um, this one here is a box that I found. I'm looking for some storage ideas for my room, for my scrap room, and I found this beautiful pink box and I wanted to share the box with you. So this is the um, outside of it. It's a beautiful pink velvety material and then it has in the four corners it has these beautiful embellishments right here they're like um, a light pink and then they have some rhinestones in the middle so I hope you can see that and then right here when you lift it up it has one right there too so on the inside I just put um, a little pretty image here just to dress up the inside of the box as I like to do I like to decorate the insides as well and inside my box what I'm doing now is I'm just storing some of my lollipop projects that I'm working on so what I'll do is I'll put these together with hot glue and I don't have um, a project for them yet but I am working on some projects right now and then there's like a little lavender this is a really pretty lavender too it's like a chocolate like a brown lavender I really like them those colors are really pretty and then I had, let me see if I can find it, okay. And then I made a charm using vintage jewelry, crystals, Swarovski crystal there. And it's just on one of those um, head pins. I'm sorry, not head pins. The one with the hook on it. It looks like that. And this could be used on a necklace or a, a, you know, a page, a scrapbook page, mini album. So that's what it looks like. It has pearls and pink crystals, white pearls and pink pearls. So anyway, that's what I have in the box right now and I'm just storing some of those projects that are waiting to be waiting to happen. So I like the box. So that's what I got it for. Store some of my projects in it. And then I found this beautiful box. It's a Valentine. And it's got all this beautiful flowers and details on it. It goes all the way around. And um, I'm going to use this for a gift. Got it for 76 cents. Thought that was a really good deal. And I think it held perfume. And it's got this beautiful lid where you can, you know, take it off and it's got the plastic on it. So if I wanted to, I can alter the top of the lid, which I probably will do something on top of it. But I like that box. It came out really good. I have an obsession with boxes, y'all. I don't know about you, but I love boxes. So then I found this number right here, this beautiful vintage man and woman dressed. And look at that. It looks like a wedding dress. It's so beautiful. It looks like her wedding day. And the color of the box is a gray and a gold and a cream so this has got a lot of pretty detail and I paid like 76 cents for this and um, this is a keepsake edition so and it was it was perfume dusting powder so this is pretty old um, doesn't have a date on it but anyway so for this one I plan on using probably gonna stick um, Keep my stick pins in there and it's a good size it's about the size of a dessert plate I would say a small dessert plate so I love that box it's really great and then I found this box over here well it's like a bag box um, and it's got brown pearls and pink pearls and it's got this metal handle here and I don't know what I'm gonna use that yet either but I liked it it's really cute and then I also found this right here. You guys, this is Battenberg Lace. And sometimes I don't think these people know what they really have at the store. This was two of them attached um, together for the same price of $3.07. Two of them. Now, I could cut these up, but I don't think I'm going to because it's too beautiful to cut. So I'm going to use these on my... Um, in my scrap room, on my, what do you call it, um, my cabinets and stuff that I have that I'm getting together, getting ready 
to put together in here. So there's two big long runners. So they'll look beautiful there um, on my shelves. That's what I was trying to say, my shelving unit. So I got that. And then I also have this box right here. Look at this. It's got keyholes on it. And it's like a cream color, like a beigey um, taupe color. And it's got keyholes all the way across. And in my head, I'm thinking, hmm, how can I get these keyholes off of here? But I don't know. I think they're on there pretty good. I haven't tried to get them off. But what I wanted to show you is look at the beautiful glass knob on the front. See that knob? Isn't it gorgeous? Love it. And then on this side, that's what it looks like on this side. And you're not going to believe this who this box belongs to. Um, and I just happened to research recently some shabby chic people that make products. And I don't know if you can see that. But that's a Melissa's, Melissa Francis. That's who designed this beautiful box. And it's white on the inside. So whoever, somebody must have painted it. Um, and then I also noticed it has holes there. And it's supposed to be used for ribbon. So you're supposed to run ribbon through the holes. And of course I haven't done it yet. But I just love the detail on the box. In this box, I believe it was like, um, I want to say... It was like two dollars but this box cost twenty two dollars if you get it from the store wherever it came from it was twenty two dollars so I was really happy about that find when I got it because I didn't even know it was Melissa Francis until I was researching it a little bit more and I found you know that it was a Melissa Francis and I was really excited about that so I wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned because I have another video for you in a project. Alright, thank you. Bye.